Okay, everybody, good afternoon. We are going to install this Garmin 93 SV a UHD depth finder, fish finder, onto the new pontoon boat. Um, we got the cover on there. Let's see here. I agree. And this will be nice because it'll give us the gauges, uh, speed, wind, compass, environment, uh, trip, and engine. I don't know what it does to the engine for the engine, but we shall see. Um, I have been using this on my John boat. I've got it changed over now. So I bought a extra transducer power cable and I'll be buying another cradle so that I can just now take this head unit off and just move the electronics over just, just the, the head unit from boat to boat and everything will already be hooked up and ready to go. So let me go through it and show you what I did. So we'll come out here to the pontoon boat. Uh, this is where the transducer will mount up. <clears throat> It'll mount to this bracket. I haven't drilled it out or done anything yet because I wanted to get the, all the wires ran and set up first. Uh, this is where the live well pump is. It comes up, goes through this hole. So I'm using the same hole for my transducer cable since it already has a rubber grommet here. Uh, and then we ju I just ran straight through. Let me see. Ran the cable straight up through the the piping or the right on top of the pontoon itself. <clears throat> Climb under. So the the transducer cable goes through here, comes back through there, and I did wrap it around the wiring that's already there. Um, comes all the way over. comes through here back up and then it runs I've got it ran over to the as you can see here I have to turn up the camera this is the rubber boot that sits underneath the uh, driver's console and this is where all the wires from the bottom of the boat come up into it the transducer cable was not long enough so I did have to purchase another one. The transducer cable is 20 foot long, but it is not, it only reaches to about right here. Uh, so it won't go all the way through. So I did have to purchase another one. And I ran the new one from the bottom, connected them out here and then pulled it all the way through. Okay, so we're back in here now. This is the console. This is the rubber grommet or rubber boot that goes down and what I did is I had to purchase a second 10 foot cable. I think it was about $49 um, because this, this, the original cable will only reach to about here. Um, I fed the new one down through that grommet, connected them on the bottom side of the boat and I was able to pull them back through. Um, and then this is the power cord uh, purchased. And I've got both of them going up underneath the console. And what I did, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it up here or not. So instead of drilling a hole in the boat, I drilled a hole in the cup holder to bring the wires through. Um, so that's there. I can pull this out of the way. I can still probably get a cup in there if I needed to. Um, got it plugged into the back of the cradle. This cradle is sitting on, I've got it bolted to a piece of black PVC board. This is PVC board, it's not wood. Uh, I painted it black and I put this Velcro on here and I put the Velcro on the top. Now all this does will sit right there. It should stay. It should stay fine. It should be okay. I've got room to put another piece of Velcro if I think I need it. I will. This is the Velcro that I picked up off of Amazon. It's 10 feet. I plan on using a lot of it throughout the boat for little things where you can hang a 
hang a tool bracket or something like that on the side. So that's what we'll be going for. Okay, that. so I have found the first thing that I absolutely hate about this boat is that this is where the uh, fuse box is at. You can barely get to anything in here. There's, I don't know how you would get the fuses out. This board does not come out. It's glued to the wall there. Um, man, this is this is pretty terrible. But we'll have to work around it. Deal with what we got. Okay, so I had to I rethought the way I was going to do this. There's a fuse box and all back there. It's very hard to get to. I hope nothing ever goes out on that because it's going to be a pain. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install. I went and bought a new uh, deep cycle battery, deep cycle marine battery. Um, if you buy, because I will be getting a 24 volt uh, trolling motor, so we'll have to have two batteries. If you get two of the 24s, they'll fit under here pretty good. Uh, I've already pre-fit this one. Uh, I've had the case. I've had that old case there to hold down. Uh, I'm going to take the battery back out. I'm going to screw the case in back there to the floor. And then I'll put the battery in, tighten it down, and I'll run the trolling motor and the fish finder to this battery. I didn't want to run my fish finder to the cranking battery because it will be on for a lot longer when the uh, engine isn't running, so I didn't want to kill my cranking battery. So let me get this in place and I'll okay, show you. So that. I've got the battery tray screwed down into the plastic part of the console. So that shouldn't go anywhere. I'll mount the battery in and we'll be okay, good. So that is it. New battery installed as a bonus. And we've got the control motor hooked up to the plug up front and the fish finders hooked up. Try to get everything out of the way. We've got power coming up here. We've got our cords. So at this point, I can just take the main head out of here, move it to my other boat, and just plug it right in. So we'll get, we got both of those. Okay, so we're back. I went ahead and drilled out the holes for the uh, transducer. I mounted on the left-hand side so that I have another, enough room for something else here if I need it to be. Uh, put in a couple of... Just drilled it out, put in a couple of stainless steel screws to hold it on. I've got it even, I've got it flush. And when we go out Sunday, we'll make sure that it's it's working correctly. And that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. And uh, if you like the content, please like, subscribe. Uh, leave any comments if you have, you know, if you point out something that could have done better or have any questions or anything, just let me know. Thanks a lot.